What I went out and did is got an air freshener, okay, that you buy at the truck stops or the store or whatever, to prove a point on this uh, fresh air intake design that's on these trucks for these new emission engines that are out here. If anything goes wrong underneath the hood of that truck, uh, exhaust pipe, EGR, EGR cooler, any of that, this stuff here inside the truck near the turbo, EGR cooler, EGR itself, the gaskets on the exhaust manifold or any of that goes wrong where something's leaking, I'm going to show you and you can do this with your own truck, okay, as long as you got fresh air intake designed underneath the hood of that truck, which is up here, okay, it's above this uh, air cleaner, but it's right here and the hood comes down and sits right on top of this, and I'll show you where it doesn't seal, okay, hold on one second, let me get up inside this truck. Now, I can take where it's supposed to seal right here. I can show you past that seal mark that there's soot. There's a the black soot. All right, these hoods don't seal. And like I said, with the temperatures uh, underneath this hood are a lot more than it's ever been. But all it takes is something to go bad on the exhaust system, the EGR system, the EGR cooler, or whatever. Anything that can possibly put off dangerous fumes, it's not just carbon monoxide levels that you're getting. It's the other toxins from the chemicals that they're using to create a clean exhaust stack. Hold on one second. I'm going to take this back off. I'm going to leave this on, and we're going to go inside the truck, and we're going to start it up and uh, show you that the fumes will come right inside the truck. I'm going to close the hood. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to turn on the fans. And give it about a minute or so. And you'll start smelling the, the fumes coming inside the truck. Like I said, that black soot, past that seal mark on that hood, this is black soot. And that's what's getting in these trucks. Smell it now, it's starting to come in. You yeah, smell it? Smell, yep. Alright, the point that strong we're trying to smell. make a cry, huh? Strong smell. Yeah, it's a strong from the from the uh, air, freshener. air freshener there. But the point I'm trying to make, when anything goes wrong, even though the, the hood sits down on that seal mark, that fresh air intake that we showed you a minute ago can allow all the fumes to come inside the truck. Carbon monoxide you can't smell or taste, but with the CO test that I'll be using here in another uh, week or so, I'll be doing a test with three different carbon monoxide uh, detectors, and the one that I use in the truck, I got I got a new one coming to me now, and uh, but I'll show you the difference between that and the ones that you can buy at Walmart for 20 bucks. And the one that I'm going to show you uh, may be more helpful to you and may save your life at it at the same time. But like I said, if you're getting carbon monoxide levels, don't matter if it's 5, 10 parts per million. It's the other toxins coming behind it as well. But if you're in a small area like inside these cabs, all right, and after a long period of time, say 10, 11 hours or whatever, and you're in here seven days a week or whatever, you're building up that in your system. It's just a matter of time when your body will shut down. I know back in 03 when I purchased a new truck and went to the emergency room three different times. Lung issues, high blood pressure issues, dizzy and all get up. But uh, I've been sick and I just got out of the emergency room last Friday. My lungs are damaged. They had to give me steroids and everything. My partner that was driving got sick as well. The, the trainee, he's on antibiotics or whatever. But I asked him as we were driving along in the truck when he first started with me out here, I asked him if he could smell anything, he said no, but within a week and a half being in the truck, he had to end up going to the emergency room and uh, or the doctors and be put on antibiotics. He's taking the same stuff I got to take. And like I said, some people, 
Uh, it affects them differently than the others, but it does give off like flu-like symptoms. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make with this air freshener, and you can do it yourself, with a, if your truck's got a fresh air intake design underneath the hood of that truck, just take an air pressure and tie it up near the engine like I did and start your engine and let it idle for a few minutes with a fan on with that fresh air intake. You're going to see what I'm talking about. So that's showing you that if anything goes wrong underneath the hood of that truck, that it can come in at the driver. But uh, there's been a lot of drivers that get sick from it. I've seen a lot of drivers get sick from it and they don't know what it is because nobody will tell them about it. But I just thought I'd pass this on because it's a safety issue. And like I said before, just how safe are our highways. Well, uh, like I said, next week I'll be showing another video which, with three different detectors. And I'll show you why the one that uh, we're getting another one here that we just purchased, a different one than the yellow one we were using in, in one of the other videos on that website that we got developed. It's called www.truckmonoxide.com. It's well worth looking into. It may help or save somebody's life. All right. I just thought I'd pass that on to you. Have a nice day.